Hey what's up guys, let's take a look at this TP-Link mesh Wi-Fi extender. It basically has two modes, repeater mode and access point mode, which we're going to configure later on. So it's AC1200 and it supports two bands, which is 5 GHz at 867 megabits and 2.4 GHz at 300 megabits. So here we go. It's white. I like the color. It's very lightweight and very handy. Yeah, I like the design as well. We have light indicators at the bottom here for power, Wi-Fi, 2.4G, and 5G indicators. Well, on the sides here, this is a reset button so that we can reset this one if we want to, to factory settings. Then we have the uh, holes here for airflow. Then you have the RG45 port there if you want to configure this one on access point mode. And of course, this is your plug that goes directly into the wall outlet. Yep, let's go ahead and try to configure this one. Once it turns on, you don't need any cable to configure this. You can bring out your phone or laptop, then start configuring the device. So for me, I have my phone. I'll pull it up and I'm just going to change the current connection that I have. So there's a default Wi-Fi SSID from that Wi-Fi extender that we have there. I'm just going to change it. You can see TP-Link extender. Okay, so I'm going to change my connection to that. Then once it is connected, you can go to settings icon. Then you can scroll up here. You can see manage router. So I'm just going to click router and it's going to take me to the homepage of the Wi-Fi extender that we have. Then it's going to ask us to set a new password before we continue configuring this device. So I'll just make it easy for me. It's going to be admin1234. Then go admin1234 for confirmation. Okay. At your first login, you will be taken into the repeater mode settings. It's going to scan the area with the Wi-Fi signal you want to repeat. So it's going to list everything here. The first thing it's going to ask you is the 2.4 gigahertz signal. And I have prepared main Wi-Fi SSID here that we are going to repeat. So I'm going to select that and it's going to ask you for that password you used to connect to this Wi-Fi so that it will be able to connect to it. So I made a very simple Wi-Fi password here so that it's easy for us to type in and then go for next. The second thing it's going to ask you is that 5 gigahertz signal. So I try to scroll down here if I have that main Wi-Fi version of 5 gigahertz, but I cannot find it. It's sad to say that the test um, Wi-Fi that I made doesn't have a 5 gigahertz signal. So we can go ahead and skip this one. But if you have it for you, you can repeat that one as well. All right. So I'll just go ahead and scroll down here and uh, skip this one. All right. So as you can see here, we have 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz, but the 5 gigahertz has missing configurations because we did not configure it. Now here on this page, you can change the SSID name of the repeated signal if you want to. But in the case of this um, tutorial, we can just go ahead and press next. Now after applying the settings, it will give you this simple diagram that you need to relocate that uh, repeater. And then another quick summary that we have here that we need to, I have connected to the extended network. So I'll just uh, accept this and then click finish. So there you go. Let's go ahead and change our connection again here. Then we can see that main Wi-Fi EXT. That is our 2.4 gigahertz. All right. And then we're going to enter the password since we configured this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Connect. Then kaboom. We successfully connected to this repeated Wi-Fi signal. Check on the light indicators here so that you know. You have the power indicator, Wi-Fi indicator, 2.4G indicator, and the 5G is not working because we are not repeating any 5G signal. But later on, we are going to configure the access point mode and you will see that it's going to broadcast 2.4G and 5G. Okay, that's the next thing that we're going to do. Okay, next is your access point mode. Since we configured this one a while back, there are configurations there and I want to wipe out everything back to its default settings. So you need a paper clip or a pin like this and then make sure to see the lights. That's the normal lights and this is the a reset button you're going to press this one you can feel that 
hold it for a few seconds the light will change blink blink there you go you can release the pin and everything is wiped out since that's wiped out and we are going to use the access point mode it's time to plug in the cable where the internet is coming from okay so bring up your phone and try to check that default SSID because this is wiped out. It should be, let's wait for it to refresh. TP-Link extender, that's the default SSID for the TP-Link repeater. We are going to connect and then jump again to that settings, manage router. And it's going to ask us to type in the new password again because yeah, we did set this one up a while back, but we wiped out everything. So we need to type in something that we're going to use to access this Wi-Fi repeater. Okay, I'll just make it plain and simple. Like what we have earlier, it's going to take us to that default um, repeater mode setup, but we don't want that one to happen. So we need to uh, jump out of this. Upper right corner, there's a button, click that one. It's going to ask you if you wanna skip or quit the settings, go yes. It's going to show you a network map here that you're not connected to the internet. Then those are a few details that you can see there, but we don't need that one. Upper left corner, click that menu. You will see change mode. We are currently on range extender, what we call repeater mode. So uh, we don't want that one. Jump into that access point mode and then click OK. Then it will reboot itself for around 15 seconds. So you need to wait so that the settings will be applied. Okay. Now that we're done, you can click on that uh, upper left uh, corner again, go to network map, then you can see that you're already on access point mode. Well, if you don't want to change the SSID, this is good enough to be used already. However, the default SSID is TP-Link extender, TP-Link, there you go. If you want to change the SSID, you can go to wireless settings and change the SSID. Let's jump into the Wi-Fi repeater and try to see the Wi-Fi indicators here. 5G is up, then 2.4G is up. Wi-Fi indicator is down because we are not receiving signal and rebroadcasting it. So that's what you, that means to say that this is on access point mode because we have that cable plugged in. All right. Anyways, guys, I hope you have learned something from this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like this video, and help me make a dream of 500,000 subscribers. See ya!